I've been, I heard you called 911 in the morning. Yeah, how did you know? I did. This morning was a fever dream, I tell you. We did call 911 this morning. Okay, let me paint you a picture, everyone. So, it's 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m., and I wake up to, like, beeping. It's just like, beep, 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 and I'm like, like, I'm like, what? What time is it? And I hear carbon monoxide warming, warning, carbon monoxide warning, beep, 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 carbon, and I'm like, carbon monoxide, isn't that when you die? Sorry, like, isn't this, like, the, the, the thing that, like, it, it's like, it kills you in, like, in, like, five minutes? So I jump out of bed and I turn on the lights to put my clothes on. I first of all try and smell for something, but I remember it's like, isn't it like odorless and it just kills you, right? So I was like, holy crap. So I put on, I try to find clothes and I realize the power's out. And so it's pitch black in my room and I'm just, I grab whatever. I just don't wear pants. I'm just not wearing pants. And I wear, I throw on this top I found on the ground and no pants. I go outside and I'm like, it's completely dark in the house. I'm just like, man, I'm like yelling for her. Um, she comes out and I'm like, what is going on? And then I open the windows um, and I stick my head out and I'm like <gasps> dramatically gasping for air, even though I feel completely fine. And I'm like, <gasps> is it, do, do, do you feel okay? She's like, I feel fine. And I'm like, okay, it goes, carbon monoxide warning, carbon monoxide warning, beep, 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 beep. I'm like, <clears throat> I swear it's placebo, but I, I, in my, in the back of my mind, I was thinking the power is out most likely is what caused the, the detector to go out. Right. So I, and also I feel completely fine. Um, but we grab our pets and then Saikuno and Ray come downstairs and they're like, what's going on? And I'm like, the carbon monoxide thing is going, there's no power. And I was like, how do you feel? And everyone's like, fine. <laughs> and Ray's just like, I'm going back to bed. I was like, but Ray, we get the carbon monoxide. And she's like, I feel fine. And I'm like, okay, okay, oh God. So I'm freaking out. Me and Myung are standing by like this, oh, like the window, just like, <gasps> cause I'm like, there's a chance there we're dying, right? We could be dying. And so I start feeling like some, like this in my throat. I feel a little like I, I'm, I swear I'm like bringing the symptoms onto myself. Everyone else is like, uh, we're okay. I start Googling, like, what do we do? What do we do? And the first thing it says is call 911. Like it could, it might not be a false alarm, right? I was like, most likely related to the power, but it was like the other option is call 911. And I was like, do I call 911 right now? And then, um, they're like, I mean, it seems okay. I think we just need to turn off the alarm. Like, I think it's to do with the power. I was Googling carbon monoxide detector power outage. And they're like, yeah, like some, like, uh, power outages can cause your detector to go off or to turn off, but you should always still take it as serious. You know, it could it could be, you know, this thing kills you. And then Myung's going, not the silent odorless, wait, not the odorless killer. Like, and I'm just like rocking back and forth. And I'm like, I think the carbon monoxide is getting to me. I think it's getting to me. We're checking our pets. Um, so then I dial 911. I hang up because I'm like, we don't need 911. But then I dial him again. And I'm like, because I remember like in the movies how like, or just in general, it's like, once you call 911, they always like show up anyway, right? And I'm like, is this being dramatic? I was like, am I being dramatic right now to call 911? Like I, I've just, I don't call 911, it's just not a thing. Uh, I've just never done it. And then, I mean, I just typed in what to do when your carbon monoxide detector goes off and it said, call 911, Google said it. So I was like, okay. So I called them and then the they, they picked up and they're like, uh, is this an emergency fire department, police department? I said, my carbon monoxide detector is going off. And then they're like, all right, we're transferring you to the fire department. We get on the phone call with the fire department. And they're like, we're sending someone out. What's, oh, they start asking me questions about the alarm company. And I just start stuttering. I'm like, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't know. So then the, they, uh, they said they're, sh they're sending people. So then a couple of minutes later, we start hearing like a helicopter. Is it for us for an alarm? And then it's like, I was like, that's not for us. And he's like, but what if it is? And so I get really dramatic. I go outside, I look up, there's a helicopter. I'm like, whoa, it's here because of a carbon monoxide. It wasn't for us. It wasn't. Uh, but it, I thought it was. I was like, maybe it's a really slow news day. And like today, this is the most exciting thing that's happening. <laughs> so I was like, whoa. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so we go back in and a couple of minutes later, we just hear people barging through our doors. Um, they're like, fire department. And I'm like, ah, and like six firefighters walk through our door. 
And they're like, is everyone okay? And I was like, eh, we're fine. Um, the, the alarm's going off. <laughs> and they're like, okay, we'll get a detector. Well, they bring this detector thing and this detector thing, they, they start turning it on and it starts beeping yellow and goes beep, beep, beep. I swear, I was like, why does it sound like it's gonna blow? Like, why is that so dramatic? What's going on? Um, you know, and then they go, yeah, you're fine. There's no zero, zero. you're good. Um, they ask us, they asked us some questions, like friendly questions. They were nice. And then they turned off, they get a ladder. They turn off our alarm. They're like, yeah, you're good. It's just power outage power outage related because we had really bad winds here yesterday. And I think a tree like knocked over something. Um, so then um, they leave, they leave. Oh, I was being, yes, I was being a little dramatic <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I went on Amazon to buy an, a, a, a detector. I was like, okay, maybe in the future. Cause I was like, where, like, I was like, how, how much is this going to cost us? Are they going to like, is this going to be sent to our address? Is this like a $2,000 bill? Like, I, I don't know. Like how they have to charge us. There's no way this is free. And then we Googled it. And then second was like, this is where our taxes go. And I was like, ah, so, you know, so it's, that is where our taxes go. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I, the smoke alarm is beeping now. We're figuring that situation out. It's cause we pulled the battery out to turn off the carbon monoxide oxide thing and anyway so um uh we called them that was that and then and then it was 6 30 in the morning and at that point i was like wow we're kind of awake like you know the fire department was here they left we're fine i was like you guys want donuts i was like i'm kind of craving a donut and then um saikuno and me and by the way ray goes just was sleeping she just went <laughs> she just went back she came down she's like <laughs> wait do you feel okay she's like <laughs> went back up <laughs> um and i'm like how is she sleeping it's like beep beep carbon monoxide warning beep beep and i'm like dude <laughs> it's kind of scary um 